Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video. Um, this is a Django tip on how to use Ajax with um, with Django. Now I'm just playing around here with a, a test test little um, piece of functionality. Uh, it's kind of rough around the edges, I would say, but I have a simple backend page that is only accessible by me. So it's not like a, a front, you know, that's why I say it's a little bit sloppy, but I don't really care because it's not public facing or anything like that. So I have this script um, where in a movie website that I own, I, I need to verify which movies do not have rankings uh, or like a rating system or, you know, a, a 1 to 10 scale that I like to have um, my algorithm put on these movies to, to see where they rank. So to view the page, it's right here. So it's just a simple page that's um, restricted, like I said, to the public. And um, I can go ahead and, and click this get rating. Now, when you view what's going on behind the scenes. Here is the get rating and it's simply just an anchor tag and the href of the anchor tag says JavaScript need rating list. So that is a JavaScript function that's being called and um, just so you know I'm not even sure if if you guys are aware but this is a, a really cool thing that JavaScript is known, I mean you can just call JavaScript and it since it's a client-side language it's just fire. So watch this, I'm at Google and I go JavaScript colon and then I just say alert testing. Or you know what, let's be a little bit more creative. Hi YouTube. Check that out. So that actually runs. So anyway, didn't know if you knew that or not. But anyway, that's what we're doing. We're doing the same thing here. We're we're calling this function when uh, this anchor link is clicked. So let's go down to this uh, function that is described down here. It's called need rating list. Now, it's an AJAX call, so um, we call the AJAX function here. Don't pay any attention to this, but we call the AJAX function here, and here's uh, what we say. We say type, it's a git, and this is the URL to the page that is being accessed uh, at New Movies, and it's a restricted page, but um, it's the URL that's being uh, gotten. Now, assuming you have the CSRF middleware token, uh, enabled, which uh, you should have. It's a security risk not to have it. Um, you do need to add this uh, line here for data. I use a synchronous true so it shows a little loading icon while the, the process is being run. And I'll, I'll touch on that in a different video. But uh, on the success, if the, if the function is a success, then we have uh, our JSON object here. And all we're doing is we're taking the output div and we're adding HTML and we're adding JSON.message. And you're probably wondering, well, what is JSON.message? Well, when the call is made, it goes to the views here, this need rating. And uh, need rating, here is the message right here. Um, whenever you're dealing with, with JSON and uh, Django, you just want to create a Python dictionary. Just create, and you can call it whatever you want. Just, uh, it's a Python empty dictionary. And then you're going to actually take um, these, these uh, I'm not really sure what you call them, but properties, I guess. And they can be named whatever you want. But this is our dictionary, and we're creating a key value. So key value. Um, a message, the value is going to be a list of movies. And um, just so you know, on a query set, see, this, this method is being called. It's saying, go to my movie objects and find me all the ratings that aren't there so uh, and then I just restrict what gets returned to a title since a movie object has a bunch of stuff with it I just want the title of the movie so that's what dot values list does and then um, once you have the movie you need to turn it to a list though because it's a Django object which isn't going to be able to get turned into JSON uh, otherwise you will have problems with it so just I turn it to a list here so really it's a list of movie names and it's being injected in a JSON um, message object. So going back over to our HTML page, we're saying take the div output and then just add our response to JSON uh, message. And then on top of that, I have other functions that are being called with that data, which actually goes down here and I start looping through that stuff. We don't have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and uh, just view a sample of what, what we expect here. So when I do get rating, I'm going to get a list of movies back 
that do not have ratings. So we click and you see a little Ajax. So now this is a, you know, obviously a very ugly thing, but this isn't meant to be public facing, but this is, you know, uh, how you do an Ajax call. So just to kind of reiterate, I have an anchor tag in the HTML, which is right here. It calls a JavaScript function, which is defined down here. The JavaScript function makes an AJAX call. The AJAX call goes to this URL, which is located in this view right here. This decorator restricts access to somebody, um, to only with staff access. So the public can't see this. And then all it's doing is saying, hey, give me a list of movies that match the credential, build an empty dictionary, assign that list of movies, and instead of Django objects, just make a list out of them. And essentially it's a list of strings now because all it is is just a title. And then it returns it. And then when it returns it, the output of the return message is appended to this output div, which is really just an empty div for the most part, except for this Ajax loading thing that you saw. And I'll probably touch on that in a different video. Um, but anyway, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, this is extremely helpful, I think, um, you know, as far as uh, nowadays you do have to have, you have to know how Ajax works and, and it's always better to make an Ajax call than, than having like page refreshes and stuff like that, especially if you don't need it. So. Uh, thank you for watching. Yeah, I appreciate it. Please subscribe.